Hey you guys, we're back with another video. Uh, I woke up at 4.44 this morning. Decided to just get up because I was full of energy. Um, and by the time we left the house, it was 5.55. So... Basically means that the spirit, the spiritual world, wants to connect with you, and speak to you as a message for you. Five for five means good changes are on their way. I've been seeing these two numbers in your life. It might be a message that the spirit realm wants to kind of connect with you. and maybe share an experience with you. So for me, for this instance, they wanted me to basically go out and get the morning sun. Because I don't usually get up at 6 a.m. But since it's summertime now, it's a lot warmer. The sun rises a lot uh, earlier. And so now when I go out and I get out of the house, the sun's already there to, to greet me. Kind of start my day off with a blast of sunshine. In a ever so dark and dreary world. Sometimes we need a bit more light in our life to kind of brighten up our days and give us a brighter perspective on what's happening around us. And one of the best ways to do that is to kind of change our routine up a bit. Do something that we don't ordinarily do. Like get up at 6 a.m. Stare at the clouds. Take a walk around your city when there isn't so much traffic, when there isn't so much people where there isn't so many thought forms that are awake. Because if you noticed, in the mornings, it's a lot quieter and easier to get your things done because there's less people awake. There's less people wanting your time and your energy, your attention, less people distracting you from the things that you want to do. And it's not just what they do physically but also the energetic thought forms that they hold kind of propagate themselves through the air and then you as a human being you are able to pick up on those thought forms without realizing it and so this is where intrusive thoughts kind of come in if you've ever had them where just things pop into your mind randomly. They could be negative thoughts. They could be low vibrational thoughts. It could be things like doubt. These thought forms are actually clouds of energy, which we are able to pick up on. And when we pick up on them, they affect what we think. It's almost kind of like a virus, you know what I mean? If someone is sick and you're in the proximity of that person, the chances of you getting sick are much higher. They kind of pass it on to you. So don't blame yourself if you start having negative thoughts or thinking on a lower vibrational level. It's not really your fault, right? You can think of it like putting a baby in a room full of smokers. You don't blame the baby if they develop lung cancer. You blame the idiots who put the baby in there. So it's time to be kinder to yourself. 
it's going to be a big theme that's coming up that I can sense intuitively. Be kinder to yourself. Show yourself love. Forgive yourself in the past for things that you may or may not have done, such as not sticking up for yourself when you're a child and letting others walk all over you. If you feel drawn to blaming the people that caused you that pain, it means that deep down you have hatred towards yourself because you didn't defend yourself in that moment. It's just that you don't want to lash out at yourself, so instead you lash out at the person who's performing the abuse on you. But in reality, that's your inner child saying that I'm wounded. Why weren't you there for me when I needed you? And why did you allow me to go through that kind of pain? So now that you're older and you're more experienced, it's easy to look back at those moments and say, yeah, I should have done X instead of Y. I shouldn't have let that guy walk all over me. But you didn't have that knowledge back then. You didn't have that experience. So you, did, so you have to assume that whatever you did in that moment was the best course of action to take. And so you have to forgive yourself. Speak to your inner child, tell them that you're sorry for allowing them to go through that kind of pain. Forgive and forget. And that's how you heal. So for so long as you hold on to that painful experience and memories, you won't be able to move on and you won't be able to heal. So that's my early morning message to you all. Hope it resonates with you. Hope you're getting, getting out there, getting a lot of vitamin D. Um, gonna head home now and I'll see how the rest of my day starts off and for those that you're few that are interested uh, I'm going to be opening up my calendar for the rest of the year for those that are interested in doing uh, private one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions uh, make sure you check the description box to get a link to my website where you can contact me or you can just email me. Um, my email address should be in my YouTube and on my website. Uh, but for those of you that may maybe want some help healing your inner child, healing those deep emotional traumas that you still carry around with you, If you're looking for someone to offer the perspective and the guidance methods on how you can deal with that and forgive, and let go of the pain of being an abuser or being the abuse, abusee, um, my calendar is open. So uh, if that resonates with you, um, I look forward to hearing from you. And as always, Hope you got a lot of value out of this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. I love you all. Peace to you all.